Oh yeah, back at Knott's Berry Farm on this beautiful SoCal day. It's a hot one. I should be at Not Soak City because that's open, but maybe maybe on the next trip. Made it through security, not that bad up here in the front, but I am expecting the park to be very, very busy. It's the summer, so yeah, everyone's out of school and work and people are here to enjoy all what Knott's has to offer. Oh, here comes Silver Bullet. Heck yeah. Yeah, the line's probably a little too long today to ride it. But hey, at least we can enjoy its presence. Oh yeah, it's a beauty. But before I forget, hello everyone and welcome back to another Theme Park Obsession video. My name is Dylan and yeah, we're gonna be hanging out at Knott's Berry Farm, checking up on Camp Snoopy and a few other things around the park. So how about you and I dive right in. Oh, we got some dirt getting kicked up on the other side of the wall here. We're working on something. Over here at the exit of the balloon race, look at this. We have our first look at the refurbished train cars for the Grand Sierra Railroad. Yeah, they're looking pretty good. And this should all officially open here in the next uh, few days at the time of making this video. So super excited for all of these new additions. And then getting a little bird's eye view down into this side of the project. And yeah, really not too much going on except for off in the distance there. It looks like they're building these little cabins or something. Yeah, so I can't tell if these are gonna be permanently in that spot or if they're just building these little cabins right there to then move them somewhere else in the park eventually. And when it comes to the theater, I feel like the theater has been put on hold because no vertical construction has started on where the stage would be or anything like that. So I'm thinking this will definitely not premiere for the grand opening of Camp Snoopy later on this month into June, but maybe at a later date. Keeping my fingers crossed that they finish it up because the concept art looked spectacular for that new uh, theater. Yeah, and here's another shot of those train cars. Yeah, I really like these. I mean, green is my favorite color, so I approve. And speaking of more things that might be delayed, it looks like they're gonna push off this little meet and greet space, this little like porch, like patio space that they were gonna build over here. And the barrel bridge uh, section is still being worked on. They might be able to finish this though, because this is not too big of a, you know, of a project. This could be easily replaced in a couple days. But as far as the new wood structure that's gonna be going right here, yeah, that might come at a later date, maybe 2025. All right, so behind me where the roller coaster is located, the all new kitty coaster here in Camp Snoopy, some theming is going in. We see Woodstock and a few of his little buddies hanging out at one of the elements near the coaster, which is really cool. And also crews are working on the new shingles that are going on the roof to the station, like load and unload area, and the new building that they rebuilt, which I'm assuming is the new restroom facility and maybe, um, some other support for the park. Yeah, not able to see anything over the construction fence from this angle, but I can't wait for them to come down, which will be very, very soon. Super excited for this new little area. Made my way out of Camp Snoopy and around the corner to Montezuma's Revenge, where look at this, some scaffolding has popped up. And what's cool is the scaffolding's not just in this section, it's on the launch section of the track. I was able to get a couple shots. It was hard just because the balloon race has a bit of a line today, so I was able to get some further away shots. But yeah, scaffolding is up around a majority of the track section. So super exciting stuff. Finally, we're seeing some movement here. So I'm wondering since the scaffolding has gone up, if they're gonna be doing track work very, very soon and we'll see some new pieces come in because this is getting a full retrack. I mean, the whole system is gonna be completely different. But yeah, I, I'm just loving the fact that we are, we're seeing something different this week. For the longest time, there was really not much going on over here. Now, besides the track work, another thing I'm thinking of when it comes to the scaffolding around this area is I wonder if they're going to build a structure on the launch area or at the brake run, maybe to extend the station building out a little bit and put some more theming around the track because it is kind of odd how they would put scaffolding up around the track if they're gonna be bringing in some new stuff. And I'm wondering if scaffolding is gonna go up around the building as well, the station area to maybe redo this section, maybe redo the roof or maybe just even the entire structure itself. Now remember, this is all slated to open sometime in 2025. 2025 is going to be an amazing year for theme parks. It really is. Ooh, look at this over here at Supreme Scream. We're getting a duel. We got two towers running, or actually no, all three towers are running today. Awesome. Get on the operations today. Oh, it looks like the yellow is winning. Green is definitely trailing behind. Oh, there goes green. It's a close race. I think the yellow's on a very uh, short cycle when it comes to staying up there though. So I think yellow will win the race in the end, ladies and gentlemen. All right, yellow's at the top. Yep, just like I thought. Yellow is winning. Close race, that was a good, that was a good race. I hope everyone placed their bets. 
if you bet yellow, you, you won a million dollars. Over here at Coast Rider, you know it's busy in the park when the line goes all the way out here for this attraction. Yeah, you know what, hey, even though it's busy, I actually like when Knott's is busy because it means they're making money and it means that maybe they'll put that money towards new experiences for us to enjoy. And right outside the boardwalk, here's your look at the permanent structure being built. Yeah, I'm thinking it's gonna be like a snack stand or something, or maybe a tiny little gift shop. Oh dang, look at this, we got the galloping goose heading around the park today. That's awesome. You know, I was just talking to my grizzly bear friend over here at Calico River Rapids, and he was telling me to keep an eye out for not only some more fish, but also the Not Scary Farm construction, because it's starting. The season is rapidly approaching. By the way, this is a great day to ride Calico River Rapids. It is it is nice and warm today. Like I said in the last Not Scary Farm video, my body is ready for Not Scary Farm. I'm, I'm ready for it. By the way, Pony Express behind me, at least on my visit today, is closed. It might just be a temporary thing for a couple days. And for those wondering, it's Wednesday, June 19th, and the park hours are 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. So yeah, if you're wondering what the park hours are for the summer season, that's usually going to be the case, 10 to 10. But going back to Not Scary Farm, look at that. The grizzly bear was right. Construction has officially started on the maze in this location. Now, last year it was the Origins Haunted House, and I'm assuming it's gonna be the same again. Knott's likes to keep their mazes around for a few years before they swap them out. Yeah, you can see those plywood walls are going vertical. So yeah, one can assume that they're already starting on the interior as well. It is pretty amazing how they can take this space and turn it into a not scary farm maze in just a matter of a couple months. It's pretty cool. And if it comes back this year, you know what? That's that's cool because I actually really enjoy Origins. I think it's a good little tribute to the ghost town area. It fits the land perfectly. And hey, as I traverse my way through Ghost Town, you're going to see it alive because Ghost Town Alive has officially started. It started on the 14th and runs select days all the way up until September. So you have plenty of time to check this out. And if you've never checked it out before, I've said this many times in the past, but it is really, really cool. It's super interactive. The kids love it. And it's a great form of entertainment here at Knott's Berry Farm. It literally brings Ghost Town alive. And, you know, a shout out to the person that came up with the idea years ago because it is a hit every single year. Oh, it looks like we have a town meeting over here. Looks like there's going to be an election at 315 in the cemetery. So if we have time and I'm still here, we'll have to check that out. And don't forget during Ghost Town Alive, at the end of the day, they do a Founders Day hoedown at 430. Sometimes the time can change depending on the day, but most of the time it's like 430 or 5. Yeah, this is usually where they have it right here. The Calico Town Square stage. It's the stage. It's the smaller one closest to Silver Bullet and the Calico Saloon. But yeah, hoedown at 4.30 today. Oh yeah, it's really busy over here at the Timber Mountain Log Ride. And same goes for the Calico Mine Ride. You know, I wonder if they'll ever build a shade structure over the queue here. That would be kind of nice. Ooh, and then look at this over here at Silver Bullet. They have this all set up outside of Fiesta Village. Various booths with snacks and merchandise available. Okay, I solved the mystery on those new wood structures they're building by the Camp Snoopy Theater. They're going in this area right here along the Grand Sierra Railroad. So I wonder if they'll stain them and then put some props or something on the outside of them. I guess we'll find out. And with that, I think I'm just gonna finish my Knott's Berry Farm day. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think on the next trip, I'm gonna hit up Soak City. Maybe Michael and I will jump in to the water park for a bit. I like Soak City. I think the slides are really fun. And I wanna go at least a couple times before the Halloween season kicks in. But yeah, good time at Knott's. Just remember, it's gonna be a little busy. Summer season is here, schools are out, and everyone's taking their little vacation. So yeah, just be prepared even during the week. Made it back to the parking lot, and I think that's gonna do it for today's video from Knott's Berry Farm. I hope you enjoyed this quick update. If you did, you could let me know by smashing the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel and you love these videos from Knott's Berry Farm or some of your other favorite theme parks, consider subscribing because I have brand new videos every single week that you won't want to miss out on. Be sure to check out my other socials like Instagram and X by following those links down below in the description. But until the next video, I hope you have a beautiful day, morning, evening, whatever it is. I'll see you next time in the park. Bye.